elaborately constructed and decorated temples to the Lord Buddha. The ubiquitous site of saffron robe Buddhist monks. People doing brisk business in dry goods and silverware at morning market. Images of a deeply devout Buddhist town that is also highly entrepreneurial. Welcome to Vientiane Municipality. Capital of Lao, or what is officially known as the Lao People's Democratic Republic. Lao PDR is a socialist state that appears highly tolerant of religious belief and the pursuit of private enterprise, in keeping perhaps with the spirit of decentralization and liberalization that has been sweeping most communist regimes since the end of the Cold War in the late 80s. Lao has been communist since 1975 when the ruling Batet Lao, boosted by the victory of their communist allies over American and neighboring Vietnam, took over what until then was a constitutional monarchy. The time that has passed since then has been but an eyewink in the country of ancient Buddhist roots along the great Mekong River. <laughs> Buddhism first appeared in Lao in the 8th century and became established in the 14th century when King Fa Ngum monarch of the unified kingdom of Lang San, or Million Elephants, declared it as the state religion. Today, Buddhism, or more specifically, the Theravada version of this faith, is the professed religion of about 90% of the Lao people. Buddhism has left a rich cultural heritage with religious art and architecture forming the cornerstone of artistic traditions. One of the most notable structures is Tat Luang, the great sacred stupa in Vientiane, also called Vientiane in the Lao tongue. Tat Luang's dome-like stupa and four-cornered superstructure is the model for similar monuments across Lao. Originally built in 1566 by King Sayaset Tatirat, a 45-meter tall golden Tat Luang stupa was rebuilt in 1953. Tat Luang today is the Lao nation's most important cultural monument symbolizing the coming together of all Lao people. Its gold-colored centerpiece mimics the curve of an elongated lotus bud, a landmark for Buddhist devotees, especially during the annual Tat Luang festival, celebrated for seven days and nights during the 12th full moon of the Buddhist lunar calendar. Stupas serve to commemorate the life of Buddha and many stupas, such as Tat Luang, are said to contain relics or parts of the body of Lord Buddha. Today, Laotians, who are generally Hiragana Buddhists, cremate the bodies of the dead and place their bones in small stupas set around temple grounds. Temples, or wats in Lao, are constructed following basically three architectural styles. Wats built here in Vientiane are large rectangular structures of brick with stucco and high peaked roofs. Lao religious images and art are distinguishable from those of its neighbors. The calling for rain posture of Buddha images in Lao, for example, depicts the Buddha standing with his hands held rigidly at his sides, fingers pointing to the ground. This style cannot be found in other Southeast Asian Buddhist art traditions. Visitors can marvel at more displays of Buddhist art and artifacts at Vientiane Ho Pra Keio Museum. Formerly a temple built in 1565 by the same King Sayasetatirat to house the Emerald Buddha and to serve as his personal house of worship. The Emerald Buddha was lost to the Siamese who carried it off as war booty in 1828. From then on, the Ho Pra Keio worship has remained unused. During the 1970s, 
The temple was converted into a museum to house the finest collection of Buddhist sculpture and artifacts ever assembled in Lao. The museum is open to visitors, but taking pictures of the collection displayed inside is strictly prohibited. Perhaps the most prominent landmark in Vientiane municipality is a memorial monument of Patusai. Built in 1958 at a strategic site along the Vientiane's Langsang Avenue, Patusai mimics the structure of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, France. Design details, however, reveal typical Lao and Buddhist motifs including the figure of Kinari, the bird woman of Lao mythology. Energetic visitors can climb stairs to the top of Patusai Monument, where an excellent panoramic view of Vientiane can be seen. Vientiane also offers tourists must-see and must-visits that are of a secular non-Buddhist nature. One is a revolutionary monument located near the Tat Luang Stupa. This simple star-tipped monument was built as a tribute to those who died in the revolutionary struggle between 1945 and 1975. Strolling down Lansang Avenue from Patusai Monument, one will chance upon Talat Sao, or the morning market. Consisting of three main buildings with two floors each, this lively shopping market has become the commercial center of Vientiane. A huge variety of goods are sold here, among them Lao antiques, textiles, souvenirs, handicrafts, jewelry, and imported products. After shopping, it's a ride to the Friendship Bridge. Officially opened in April 1994, the bridge spans the Mekong River linking Lao with neighboring Thailand. As one of Lao's international border checkpoints, visas on arrival can be obtained prior to entry at the Friendship Bridge, known by its Lao name, Khao Midtapap. Still along Lansang Avenue, running parallel to the Mekong, there is a strip that hosts hotels, restaurants, and this open-air dining and drinking area frequented by locals and tourists alike. A beautiful and romantic Loatian sunset can be enjoyed from this point. This part of Vientiane also hosts the old French quarter where stand the residential mansions of French colonial administrators of Lao. Some of these mansions have been converted to restaurants and other commercial use. Hotels along Lansang feature live variety shows, as well as performances of traditional Lao folk song by this winsome Lao singer. of dance by these sprightly young dancers. The national Lao dance is the Lam Vong, in which people dance circles around one another so that ultimately there are three circles. A circle danced by an individual, another one by a couple, and a third one by the whole troupe. Folk music is said to be extremely popular with the people throughout Lao. The principal folk musical instrument is the Ka'en, which comprises a double row of bamboo-like reeds fitted into a hardwood sound box. The Ka'en is often accompanied by a bowed stringed instrument backed up by an orchestra of percussion and other wind and stringed instruments. Lao people are frank, open, friendly, and they possess a strong, developed sense of courtesy and respect. 
A French expatriate in Vientiane has summarized a foreigner's view of the Lao way of life by this statement, Lao people enjoy living life more than earning money. Visit Vientiane and Lao and discover the best kept secret of Indochina.